The living room is about to get turned up to 10. What's up, Concrete family? It's Darlene. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have something super simple and super easy for you guys. We are building a grass wall. Here on this channel, it's all about glam on a budget. I guarantee you, anyone can do this and you can put it in your bedroom, your bathroom, your living room, your mansion, I don't know, whatever you wanna put it. It's gonna seem like you paid an interior designer thousands of dollars to get this done. If you are not subscribed, join the Concrete family. Let's get into the video. So this is faux boxwood grass. Look at that beauty. It comes with a grid-like backing, which is going to help us out a lot, as well as these connecting tabs on the perimeter. When starting from the top, I've already done a few rows because it was gonna be really difficult to film this from the ceiling. Place the nail on the corner of the first square of the grass. For me, I placed it on each square on just the very top row until you reach the last corner. The very top is going to be the heaviest and supporting it is gonna be important, so do not skimp on this. Then, when connecting the pieces, connect the outer corners first, then work your way through the middle and down the side, pull the grass forward so that it's not getting stuck behind the panel when you're pushing them together. You paid for it, so you might as well get as much grass as possible. Here, you need to use the wall as a hard surface to push against when connecting the squares together. It's plastic into another plastic, so this is gonna help you out. Next, you're gonna place a zip tie connecting the middle of two square panels so it doesn't come apart when adding more rows. You can nail them down as well, but I don't think it's necessary. When you're done with your wall, you're going to massage it. Yes, give it a nice little massage because you wanna disperse all of the leaves and you wanna kind of join where the panels are meeting. And when you do that, some of the leaves are gonna fall off, but you can just plug them right back in and you're done. It was easy, right? I told you it was going to be so easy and so simple. So if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Plus, subscribe for more Glam It on a Budget DIYs. Stay tuned for this Friday's video where we are doing Thrift RD, the very first episode of thrifted and old items that we turn it up to 10. So I will see you guys this coming Friday. Bye. Bonus, I'm gonna have this photo on my IG, plus a little sneak peek of an upcoming video, a little DIY tutorial. Mwah, mwah.